I'm Angela Rayner and I'm standing to be the Deputy Leader of the Labour Party and as the Member of Parliament for Ashton on the Line I've been really vocal on making sure that the people of Kashmir have basic human rights and self-determination. I think it's so important if we don't fight for the people of Kashmir we stand for nothing especially here in the UK we always talk about our foreign policy we have an absolute obligation to ensure the children of Kashmir are looked after and have safety in their own homes and that the people of Kashmir have self-determination and for the women in Kashmir happy International Women's Day you will always have a sister in me. The Kashmiri conflict has been going on a long time and obviously Britain played a role in that as well and therefore we have an obligation to ensure that human rights are something that's part of our foreign policy going forward. I want to see a peaceful solution to Kashmir and I think the people of India, the people of Pakistan and the people of Kashmir want to see a peaceful solution to that as well. Some people in their governments don't want to do that but actually we want to see that and I think the people, the grassroots people can make that happen and I as a politician in the UK will always support the human rights across the world, the safety of all children and the self-determination for the people of Kashmir. The people of the UK and the UK government have a crucial role to ensure that we try and bring people together. So the people of uh, India and the people of Pakistan and the people of Kashmir have to come together. We have to find a peaceful solution. The only way we can do that is through dialogue. So we should support dialogue. We should dial down the temperature, not increase the temperature. So the people of Kashmir do get that self-determination and are able to deliver basic human rights so that children feel safe in their own area and that the people of Kashmir can be proud of Kashmir and feel safe in their own homes. That's what I want for Kashmir and we can do that through dialogue and I urge all of the governments to come together to ensure that people in Kashmir do get that support and that we can end the violence and end the human rights abuses in Kashmir and ensure that they have that self-determination and that peaceful future that they deserve. The only way that we can ensure that human rights are across the whole of the world and ensure that we have great support for people in the United Kingdom is by having a Labour government. And we can only get a Labour government is as a Labour family we come together. We can't fight each other anymore. We have to make sure that people understand we want aspirations for our young people. We want to give them the future. We want to give them free education so that they can be educated and they can do well in life. We need to have good public services here, police on our streets. We can do this together, but we can only do this by making sure we get a Labour government. And me, as the Deputy Leader of the Labour Party, will bring our party together, will talk about what Labour does in government and will ensure we have a great legacy of a Labour government in the future that delivers education, delivers public services and delivers self-determination for Kashmir.